Welcome back to Pisces TV. Let's get started with your finance reading for all of the newcomers. Check the description box. All you need to know is there a lot of links, my online store, booking products and services, all of my contact information, and a little bit about the channel. If you're interested in joining us on the other side, our member section, our Patreon platform link is there as well. And here on YouTube, we have the member section, the merchandise, and the community board. So check all of that stuff out. There's so much to come, so much that's happening. The launch parties that are happening this week for all of my tarot students. And if you are interested in learning tarot, starting a YouTube channel, or just business coaching, encouragement, financial literacy, whatever the case may be, I offer services. I'm kind of good, you know, I ain't going to toot my own horn, but thank you for joining us. So let's talk about some money. I shuffled the cards as usual, just to develop the icebreaker to see what we were going to be talking about. And we got the judgment card. So the judgment card, as far as your finances, life purpose, career sector, talks about major changes. And some of you, you know, may feel like they're happening to you, not for you. And others of you feel more liberated, have a more liberated viewpoint, or maybe asked to. Could be a change in consciousness. So when we talk about all of those shifts and all of your gifts and magic powers and whatnot, the judgment card is like a um, clear indication. So it is Pluto, Mars, Scorpio energy. You can check where those aspects may fall in your chart. I always say that it talks about discernment and stuff like that. So that's where your consciousness comes in. The judgment card also advises us to embrace what we've done. So the hard work from the, the past year, um, it will remain the past. You know, the deeds, your performance, all of those things are with you. And now is a good time to come to term with come to terms with the things that you've done. Okay. Regardless, all right. Now we have the full moon, we've talked about that. Now, some of you that may have cancer in your career or finance sector, it could be highlighted right now. We have the Yule, snow, cold moon, whatever you want to call it, that kind of you know takes us out of older energy and shifts us into uh, the new year. You know, it's kind of like closure and stuff like that. And the judgment card also represents that. It, it talks about making major life changes too, though. So some of you could have major life changes coming your way, may have done those things or want to do those things. So I always, of course, offer my services. However, it's time for that. OK, a soul and life assessment. You may look back on your past and see things in a different way. All right. Or maybe you're called to to do that. Definitely love that. So we're going to take out an oracle card to get more information and advice for you to see what we're being called or asked or advised to look into a particular situation because I did see the five of cups. So kind of realizing some things See, look at that kind of looking at the bright side um, for some of you, there could be an offer coming in a reality check, you know, a realization of some sort staying busy. The things that you've done and the the work that's paid off uh don't get that twisted some of you could be making phone calls writing letters others of you could receive phone calls or letters so i absolutely love that and let's go ahead and take a look at that i'm gonna leave this uh, page of cups right there and let's just see something about these major life changes i'm gonna take from the oracle card before we get started with the reading and of course, the, the spread, the details and clarifiers will be made available to you as well as to pick a card. So when it comes to judgment and our monies, our projects, 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 careers, domestic life, finances, we have, is this the one? Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, that's cute. This kind of reminds me of the occupation card. In the Kipper deck, the number 13, very transformative number. And look at her. She got the thread. It looks magical. Like she's making magic. How many of you watched those? Um, what was that? Once upon a once upon a time where um what's I was gonna say honest what's the nigger? What's his name? Rumpelstiltskin would take wool or something 
and turn it into gold or he was just the gold person right mr gold or whatever i don't know he was the person that kept all of the items he was also always in stuff but he had a place and a purpose so i don't know where that came from or what that means for you but if you've ever seen that show i don't know it's just what i thought of because him and making gold and the little machine that he used and how this looks um so magical for her so let's see what we got from the oracle of visions deck the number 13 we have productivity control and organization take your needle my child and work at your pattern it will come out a rose by and by life is like that one stitch at a time taken patiently and the pattern will come out all right like embroidery so some of you guys could be getting into embroidery you know or stitching or just making things it also talks about patterns and habits and stuff like that so when we talk about reflection and looking back and all that kind of stuff cool but this card considers the gathering of separate elements people or ideas from everyday munances of family dynamics to the managing of a corporate team so outside influences may be involved partnerships corporations ideas people a lot of elements are at play here but it also said gathering of separate elements so they may not come together like that this victorian seamstress manipulates various components as um as threads of color with uh and i'm laughing because i saw earlier today the manipulation card i think in the love reading and see it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom but it's just kind of like making it work the way you want it so with skillful hands she arranges them taking into consideration the distinct and individual qualities that each may possess she coaxes the best from each and orchestrates their ultimate working together as a whole so ooh, even if this is source or like the universe the higher power or whatever bringing that soul tribe together where things are going to come into alignment you may be meeting people and getting more opportunities and all kind of stuff so uh giving each strand order position and purpose she blends them into a rainbow of unity i think that ten of cups and the rainbow is there that happy ending or you know just your domestic life its beauty is a metaphor of accomplishment surpassing that of its original separate parts so it's like better together than just having everything there you know like oh i got crystals oh i got cards oh, i got some sage over here and individually it's like okay cool but how they come together it's like aha you know my little all the stuff that i've collected over time anything however that applies be wary of over controlling and micromanaging or getting lost in the details of things allow each participant to contribute fully and not be undermined by one person's overall position i do love that for those of you that are working with others that is very important okay because it's like can't nobody get it done better than me um or just being very meticulous that's a gift of yours but oh when i talked about habits that is our page of pentacles who also pays attention to details and takes their time and are thorough but at the same time could be overly um analytical and you know whatever whatever so we are going to get um into the extended here so i'm going to put her back we will get into the reading as i leave that uh cup there to see what that's about and see what's crossing judgment um and then like i said i may see you guys on the other side so here we have the nine of wands holding your focus something that you're manifesting and getting to that tipping point i definitely love that so if this is where we leave off i appreciate you guys for stopping by and members i will see you on the other side